congratulations to Florida State. That was quite a challenge for us. Um, that, that team is uh, significantly taller and extremely athletic and uh, very, very difficult to play against. Dwayne Bacon is a special player. His ability to drive the ball, uh, get to a spot and elevate uh, is, is incredible. I thought uh, Florida State's depth is, uh, was really good. I thought their guys off the bench were better than they've been in the past, and that, that's going to bode well for them. And um, you know, I thought that Florida State played very hard and very efficiently. I thought for 30 minutes we were right there. We had a four-minute stretch in the first half uh, where it kind of got away from us. And we fought, got it back to six at halftime. And then we had a four-minute stretch to start the second half where it jumped back to double figures. And then certainly at the end of the game, you know, they had some runouts when we were trying. They were very difficult to press. Um, and so, but, but I thought our team played with great energy and, and, and uh, we did some really good things. Our team was seven new guys. Uh, and we were kind of rebuilding a little bit and uh, trying to get back to the top of the Big South. I thought our team competed very, very well. I thought we changed defensively well. Um, I thought we, uh, we, we held our own. On the boards, we didn't get massacred on the boards. 11 offensive rebounds by them is pretty good when you only shoot 48%. It's pretty good on our part. Uh, and so uh, proud of our team, proud of our effort, and uh, I think we got a chance to be pretty good. Uh, it helped us in a lot of ways. The first way it helped us is we had seven new guys, so we got to we got to play three games in Toronto against very good competition, and 3-0. Uh, the second way is bonding, uh, where our guys really had a chance to, to be in a even though it's Canada, it's still not the United States, uh, you know, to be on a trip together for a week. And I thought that was significant for us. And uh, the third way is I thought we got to step outside of ourselves a little bit and, and, and help some people in Toronto. We did some, some inner city uh, basketball clinics for the less fortunate. And uh, we fed the homeless a couple days, one day. And um, I thought that really helped our guys to see that life is just, there's things outside of basketball that are important too. So those things really helped us. We came in with a little bit of experience. We played two really tough scrimmages because we knew, you know, this is a tough home opener for us. Uh, we could have scheduled a non-division one and be one and zero right now, but but uh, this was great for us. And we'll be able to get a lot off film. It'll help us. Uh, we'll be able to see some things where we can do a lot better job. And, and uh, I thought for 30 minutes, it really we really held our own. You guys played Florida State last season. Um, now looking at them this year, where do you think they made? Strides or how are they different from the season ago? I think Dwayne obviously is a special player, uh, and uh, Xavier's much more experienced. Uh, Jonathan is going to be something now, and that's that's something to hold out there to see that. You don't see that too often uh, this side of the NBA. Uh, he's he's got a chance to be a special guy, and I just watched him close. You know the way he handles himself. He's very poised. or seemed to be very poised. The second, so I think they're. Starting five is really good. I think their depth off the bench is, is really good. Uh, you know, they come with great size. They come with some athleticism uh, and, and, and some additional. Room. That's a lot of length out there for a mid-major team uh, to deal with. Uh, and so I, I, he's got a good team. He's got a good team. Talking to with Stan before the game, he's he's telling me how much they've enjoyed coaching this team and how hard this team works. And you know, I, I know, uh, you know Stan's loved him. Really enjoy coaching. Dwayne's probably not going to shoot like that every night out, but, but if he can shoot like that from the perimeter, what is that? How dangerous is he? Well, if he shoots like that from the perimeter, and that, that just opens up a whole new world for him. I mean, you know, he, he puts the ball on the floor so well, righty and lefty, and, and then he has the ability to get to a spot and with his size jump up and make shots. And so if you have to guard him on, on the three point line like that, then that's, that's going to be significant even the ACC, in the ACC. Um, the other thing he did, I was impressed, is he made it. He made a three behind the screen. If he can do that off his left hand, he went left and made a three off behind the ball screen. That's something now. If he can do that, then uh, that gives you a whole other dimension and opens up opens up some driving angles and, and makes teams have to spread out quite a bit. Jonathan can do that too. I saw his release. He shoots the ball amazingly well. And you're going to have to guard them from the perimeter. 